on the university funding model. Universities have now been asked to admit all students for learning, regardless of whether they have the household contribution for tuition or not. National Assembly members told the Principal Secretary for Higher Education to instruct universities to implement that directive as the Ministry seeks to rectify errors that have been identified with a new university banding funding model that has seen hundreds of students placed in what they deem as wrong financial bans, placing education out of their reach. Brenda Wanga reports. List the four, then uh, sit, uh, Elachi. The crisis unfolding in the funding of higher education ahead of the start of this year's university academic year was on the floor of the August House, the main agenda of a speaker's Kamukunji. The, the methodology or, the, uh, or all these parameters they set up are what is actually causing students to be placed in bands that they do. The newly introduced model of funding that allocates money to students based primarily on their household income has caused confusion with students who have been categorized complaining of having been placed in the wrong bands. MPs taking the top level education ministry officers to task to justify the changes in the funding model. Yes, we understand that uh, there is a lot of maybe fake information that came in. But even the statistics out there, can, can they, do they justify to tell us that such many people earn over 120,000 shillings in Kenya? Before they are categorized in certain banks, they have visited their household to determine the level of poverty. Some of us are speaker from our community. We take pride in our cows. It is high time we acknowledge that this system is a, quite a mess. We must go back to the drawing board. We are wasting the life and the future of our children. The Ministry of Education officials say the model, while well-intentioned, has run into headwinds, especially on the collection of adequate data on family incomes, with students either giving incorrect information at application stage or getting insufficient aid while filing the forms at cyber cafes. The ministry also acknowledging that the type of school students attended has contributed to their banding. When we use the secondary school that a student went to as an indicator and the students went to national schools and they have not demonstrated that they were funded through harambes or they had a guardian or bursaries, then it becomes very difficult for us not to discriminate, uh, not to use that variable as a discriminator. However, this is what then opens the opportunity for appeal so that with more information, we can then correctly classify these students. And this will also include... The issue the schools or the school somebody attended is very misleading. Because most of us are in WhatsApp group fundraising. Parents sacrifice to even do those fundraisers so that kids can go to good schools for a better life. Not that they can afford it. So can you please relook because it's very misleading. MPs asking the ministry to review that means testing tool to ensure equity and fairness. You need to approach this thing using financial tools like you are a credit committee in a bank. And this information is there. And the application I would suggest are made while people are still in high school. So that the teachers and the students can work together and capture the historical data on how those students have been financed over the years. But before those changes are effected, MPs want all students allowed to join university and learn without hindrances brought about by the confusion in the banding. Even children who don't have money should go and report. Those with distorted data should go and correct at the university. This is something that we didn't need a Kamkunji to be told. At the same time, the MPs are asking the ministry to consolidate all the bursaries into a common basket for better disbursement in an equitable and fair manner. We have an MCA giving bursaries, an MP giving bursaries, a constituents based, the women rep are giving bursaries, we have governors giving bursaries, we have your ministry giving bursaries, we have banks making their own interventions, and so on and so forth. And Awanga, Citizen TV. And peers.